Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smitha. In today's video, I want to share with you guys exactly how Google is actually using artificial intelligence to make a tremendous amount of change to its Google Maps. Now, recently Google actually released an article where it highlighted how AI is actually playing a major role in the type of uh, improvements that it's making to Google Maps. In fact, this year, Google is planning on releasing a hundred new improvements to Google Maps, and all of this is being powered by AI. So as machine learning engineers, I thought it would be really interesting for us to take a look at exactly how a company like Google is using machine learning to create a tremendous amount of improvement to its products. And it's really interesting to see the real life implementation of of something like machine learning. One of the features which I'm most excited about is actually indoor navigation with Live View. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably been in a really large mall and you are kind of stuck trying to find either a lift or where the, the nearest ATM is. So you spend quite a great deal of time trying to locate that, especially if you're in a large indoor place. So with Live View, you can easily identify exactly the location of what you're looking for. So how it works is Live View actually makes use of AI and AI actually scans through billions of different indoor images of these you know airports shopping malls train stations and so on and is able to determine the orientation of where you are and also what are in your surroundings as well so in order to use live view you're able to use your phone camera and scan your surroundings and it's then going to tell you exactly which direction to go to find what you're looking for so live view actually makes use of a lot of different types of object recognition. So identifying exactly what type of objects are located in the images that it's looking at and also identifying exactly the position as well. So by doing that, it's able to help us navigate indoors, which is honestly a pretty big deal. The next really cool feature that Google Maps has released is way better accurate forecasting for weather and also air quality. So currently we're able to find out the temperature and also the weather at certain areas. But with this new feature, you're actually able to find out the weather conditions and also air quality at different destinations that you want to go to. So this allows for a great deal of planning and also makes life much more easier and convenient in general. So how this works is actually they make use of machine learning algorithms to do forecasting and they take a lot of these past weather data and also air quality data from all these official sources and they use machine learning to do forecasting on it. If you're interested in how to get time series data, which is what these weather data and air quality data, they're all time series data. So if you're interested in finding out how to get time series data off of the web, uh, I actually have made a tutorial on it. The link is going to be right over here so you guys can check that out. So the weather data and also air quality data, it comes in actually layers. So you're able to use, select that layer and also look at the surrounding weather conditions to the area that you're at and also your destination. And you can do the exact same thing to air quality as well by using the air quality layer. Another great feature is Google is now allowing us to find out the most energy friendly way to get around. So for example, if you're driving and you're looking for the route to where you're going to, you get different, uh, you get a bunch of different routes depending on traffic conditions and also estimated time of arrivals. But now you're also going to get added information, which is what is the most energy efficient route? So this is really cool. And how Google does this is it makes use of reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is actually a type of machine learning algorithm. So its routing model is actually a reinforcement learning model. And the reinforcement learning model has one goal in mind, which is to find the most energy efficient route possible. So it explores hundreds and thousands of different routes which are possible and then it arrives at the most energy efficient one which you can choose to take. The really amazing thing is that this energy efficient route is not only available for cars and for driving but it's also applicable for public transport for example buses and trains. So you're able to make a lot more informed decisions based on how you want to travel and also this is really great for the environment as well. It's honestly extremely great to see how machine learning and something like a reinforcement learning model is able to tell us the most energy efficient way to travel to a certain place and is actually 
helping the environment. The last improvement that I want to talk about is actually curbside delivery. So now Google actually allows you to order deliveries using Google Maps and it's able to find the closest grocery store to where you're located at. And as your groceries are being prepared, it also lets you know when you can leave and go and get it. And as you're arriving or on the way to the grocery store, it also lets them know and so that they are able to prioritize your order and prepare it on time. So this is a really efficient way to buy groceries. So guys, those were a bunch of cool new improvements which are coming to Google Maps and they are all making use of AI and machine learning. You know, from using reinforcement learning to find the most energy efficient route or to using uh, forecasting and also making use of time series data to determine what the weather conditions and the air quality is in the places that we're traveling to. Google is definitely taking Google Maps to a whole nother level. I'm really interested about what you guys thought about all these new improvements and if you think that you could implement something like this, you know, whether it's using reinforcement learning or using forecasting models on a much smaller scale in your personal projects. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video.